We've been putting up with this for 45 years. It's time to quit kicking the can down the road and do something about it. Whether it's Harvey's idea or your preferred item number four, one of the concerns, we don't want the material left here. It's got to go off site. Whatever's excavated should not be kept on site to be stored. In particular, if you don't choose item seven or alternative seven and you're going to leave 30% of that material, we're still going to live with 30% of it. What also happens though is you start to excavate and if you find more, like if you've gone down 16 feet and you all of a sudden hit a hot spot and it's another two feet, what are you going to do with that? It needs to be going. That's the deal. What about the testing too on the, the soil that comes in for the cap? That's an issue that I've raised before with them when we met with EPA and the regional administrator. Make sure that whatever you bring back in is tested to make sure we're not bringing in more contaminated material back into the sample. I've also had concerns throughout this period about what happens to the groundwater. If you're putting on a cap that is rock or dirt, or whatever the case might be, and it's not impermeable, it means the water is going to circulate through. Should there not be some type of system of collection of that rainwater to make sure it doesn't go off site and into the water systems that serve not just the city of Bridgeton, we're talking the entire region here, because it's a regional problem. Everything is. The other issue that I'd like to raise, and I believe you'll address it, is what assurances do the city of Bridgeton and the region have that the responsible parties will continue making payments to ensure the monitoring continues on this program? I heard where this material will stay active for 9,000 years. That'll be way along my, beyond my life period. Well, what about future generations? We need to ensure that those responsible parties continue to pay their share of the cost. Thank you.